Hey folks and welcome to this video with myself Sarah Lean. What we're going to be covering in this video is showing you how to actually pull in Azure resource graph queries and visualize them in Power BI as a new connector has been launched. So let's dive into our Power BI and start to walk you through that and show you how to use it. So here we are inside our Power BI desktop application and we're going to get the data from our Azure resource graph. So if you click on get data and then select more in the search bar, type in Azure resource graph and hit enter. When that comes up, click on the Azure resource graph and click connect. Now we're given this input wizard to put our information into. Now the big box is the query and this is where we put our Azure resource graph query. Now it's the same as Azure resource graph. There's nothing different here. Just watch though when you copy and paste in a query that there's not any additional formatting or a confusing formatting that might actually um, not work here. So make sure it's exactly what would work inside the Azure resource graph. Now below the query, we have other things that we can add in. So we have things like scope, and this is where you can specify where you want the query to run. So you can put it into a tenant, or you could put it into a subscription ID or multiple subscription IDs. You could put it into a management group, or you could scope it to multiple management groups. Now, by default, if you leave this box empty, it will query at the tenant level. Um, so for a Hopefully majority of your queries, that would actually suit you. But if not, scope it to what you need, a subscription ID, management group ID, and then input the information into the boxes below as required. If you scope it to say a subscription ID or a management group ID, and you forget to put that ID in one of those boxes, your query won't run. So remember to put in that specific information as well. Now the last box is around the truncation of the res results. So by default, you'll only get a thousand rows or a thousand returns back. If you want more than that, then you have to set the result truncated optional box to false. And that way you'll get more than a thousand results. If of course there's more than a thousand results inside your query. Now I'm happy with all the defaults. I am. I want to search at tenant level for this query um, because my query is actually looking at all of my subscriptions and counting how many resources I have inside each subscription. Now, depending on whether you're signed in or not, you may see this box um, asking you to sign in to your Azure tenant. So I'm gonna to connect to my Azure environment. Now this will connect and depending on the size of your query, it may take a few minutes for the information to come back. But as my query is quite small, it has taken um, a, a short time to load. Once the query actually comes back, we want to load this data into our Power BI desktop. So we'll click on load. And again, it'll take a few minutes depending on the data being queried, whether that, how long it comes back for you. So now that we have the query data inside our Power BI desktop, we want to actually modify it. So we're going to click on the kind of ellipses or the more options box next to our query here and edit that query. Now this is the Power um, Query Editor. And what we're going to do is specify that our column with the numbers, so the count of how many service resources are in each subscription, is actually um, a data type of a decimal number. We don't want it to be a string just to help with the visualization of our data. So to do that, we click on the count if column and then up on the, the kind of menu bar at the top, we click on data type and select decimal number. With our data transformed and our data type specifies, we can click on close and apply to push this back into our designer view. So now that we have our query data um, formatted the way that we want, we can start to visualize it. So I'm going to click on the bar graph or the bar chart and actually drag that and create one of those. What we now have to do is drag our relevant data into the relevant axis for visualization. So we're going to take the subscription name and put it into the Y axis and we're going to put the count of resources in the X axis. And you can see here we've got that visualization of the data already. And there's lots of things that you can now do with this information and you can visualize it depending on the type of information you've got. What we're going to do uh, here is just format the visualization and add some data labels to our chart to make it easier to read. Um, but obviously there's a lot of customization you can do here and you can uh, visualize the data 
however you want and build a really powerful Power BI report based on your Azure resource graph queries. Hopefully this video has been useful to you folks and you now understand the new connector that's in Power BI that allows you to pull in information from the Azure resource graph queries. I hope you have fun building new reports inside Power BI and please do reach out to me and share what you've created folks and I look forward to catching you in another video.